Uh, welcome everybody to today's webinar, uh, all about our Ulysses AI joint master's degree about artificial intelligence for business transformation. Just a note that this session will be recorded and we will be uploading it later on to our Ulysses channel if you need more information. But we have one hour uh, and a lot to get through, so I'll fire ahead. So our program today will introduce the joint degree uh, to you. Uh, we'll talk about the module content and student life um, from Haga Helia's point of view. We'll get an introduction to MCI, the Entrepreneurial School in Innsbruck, their module content and student life. We'll also hear from University of Seville, their module content and student life, and also from the Technical University of Kosice. So the, 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 the presentations will be received from our local experts and they'll give a little bit of an insight into the content and, and what it's like to study on their campuses. Uh, at the end, we will also have uh, more information about the application process and criteria. So you'll be able to learn a bit more. And then we're also very open. If you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to engage. You can send a question on the chat and we'll take care of it at the end of the presentation. Our hosts today will be myself, William O'Gorman. I'm the AI Innovation Hub Manager here in Haga Hilla University of Applied Sciences in Helsinki, Finland. We have uh, Umar Ali Khan, who is a senior researcher here in Haga Helia. We have Stefan Schlogel, who is prof Professor of Human Centered Computing in MCI in Innsbruck. We have Maria del Carmen Romero Tenero, who is Dean of Computer Science Engineering School in University of Sevilla. And we have Frantisek Babic, who is the Associate Professor in Technical University of Kostice. We also have Marian Amakela, who is the Principal Lecturer here in Haga Helia University of Applied Sciences, who I would say you could say is the architect of this uh, Ulysses AI. Uly uh, all of our partner organizations are part of the Ulysses Uni University Alliance, of which there are eight uni universities. Our goal is to develop joint education on a European level, to increase international mobility, and also to increase joint research between our universities. This alliance is funded under the Erasmus Plus uh, program and co-funded by the European Union. So let's talk a little bit about a, our joint master's degree without borders, AI for business transformation. It's uh, your gateway to global careers. You can earn a European joint master's degree from three European higher education institutions, Haga Hilla University of Applied Sciences here in Finland, which I'll be referring to as HH later, Management Center Innsbruck and in Austria, MCI, and University of Seville in Spain. So when you study mobility with Ulysses AI, you have one semester in Haga Helia in Finland, the second semester would take place in MCI in Austria, and then for your third semester, you can choose a different module between either Tuke in Slovakia or Seville in Spain, and the fourth semester in any of the above as well. So it's quite a unique opportunity and one of the, I think one of the, a very important opportunity for to study such an important topic in, in the European Union. So here's a little uh, information about the ULSS AI course structure. Module one is AI for business in general. That's on-site here in Haga Helia. And module two is AI for business uh, for business and advanced. That's going to be on-site in MCI. So you'll need to attend in those actual higher education institutions. Module three will involve a specialization between either AI methods specialization, which we would need to take place on-site in Tuke, or module four is AI under multidisciplinary perspective specialization two, on-site in Seville. So these are specializations that you can choose to take in addition to module one and module two. Module five would include transversal studies, which are partly elective uh, and, module, and, and are partly elective and spread over four semesters, with module six being the key, the master's thesis. So why would you want to study here in Finland and Haga Helia? Well, we're a sought after local and global higher education institution. We are the number one um, best known University of Applied Sciences with over 11,000 staff and 750 staff members. And why Finland? Well, you can get out of your comfort zone. We have four very distinct seasons, a unique culture, and you get to move and experience another country. English here is widely spoken and we're a modern country with high quality education, a high living standard, rich combination of life, lively city life and closeness to nature and easy access to other European cities. We're also privately owned, so we have very close contacts with employers and businesses, and we have over we have over eleven thousand international degree students and two hundred partner institutions. And I'd like to invite uh, Dr. Umar Ali Khan, senior researcher at Hagahelia, to briefly introduce you to the first semester from Hagahelia's point of view. So, 
Umar, please. Okay, thank you, William. I will introduce the courses and first semester and the thesis project. So the first semester has 30 ECTS points split across seven courses. It starts with the subject of uh, orientation to Ulysses AI, which provides introduction to the whole Ulysses program. And then there is a course of AI in modern business, which covers the applications of AI in business settings. It covers topics such as machine learning, natural language processing, and their use in enhancing business operations. Uh, the course of management of digital service development focuses on the strategies, methodologies, and tools required to develop and manage digital services effectively. And then we have uh, the course of mathematical principles of AI. It focuses on understanding the mathematical concepts and techniques of AI, especially from the perspectives of AI in business. It covers topics such as uh, linear algebra, calculus, probability theory, and optimization. Uh, the subject of data analytics has five ECTS. It focuses on the application of data analysis techniques to solve business problems and drive decision making. It covers key topics such as uh, data collection, cleaning, and visualization, as well as statistical analysis, uh, predictive modeling, and the use of analytical tools. Uh, we also have the subject of academic writing, uh, having two ECTS. It focuses on developing the students' skills and writing clear and well-structured academic texts. It covers uh, aspects such as research and citation, argument development, critical analysis, and the conventions of academic style and language. And then we have two uh, subjects, uh, uh, and the students can choose one of them. Uh, these include evolving organizations and learning culture in organization. Each has uh, five ECTS points, and the student has the option to select one of them. Evolving organization subject is about uh, the dynamics of organizational change and development in response to internal and external influences. It covers uh, theories and practices related to organizational behavior, uh, culture, leadership, and innovation. Uh, likewise, the subject of uh, learning culture in organizations focuses on the principles and practices uh, that promote a culture of continuous learning and development uh, in the organizations. Uh, it covers topics such as knowledge management, uh, employee training, uh, leadership roles in uh, promoting learning, and the impact of organizational culture on innovation and performance. And then we have a subject of applied design research. Uh, this subject is offered in different parts, three parts to be specific, in different semesters. And uh, this subject supports the thesis. Uh, this subject uh, basically focuses on the practical application of uh, design principles to solve real world uh, problems. Uh, so this subject is in three uh, is in three semesters to be specific, each having three ECTS, one ECTS, and one ECTS respectively. And then we have uh, the thesis project. Uh, the thesis is thirty ECTS in terms of the student's workload, and the process consists of uh, individual work of sessions uh, with the assigned supervisors and of some webinars or other types of sessions that are in common for all thesis candidates in the cohort. Uh, thesis work is divided on the semester three and four. So this is, uh, and uh, of course there are different parts of uh, this thesis work, uh, which are offered in uh, semester three and four respectively. So this is about uh, the course structure in semester one and uh, the thesis part. Uh, can you please move to the second slide, William? So here we are conducting a poll. 
to know if you uh, what is your preference about the courses in the first semester so if you had to select just one course from the first semester courses which one would it be uh, which one is the most interesting which one do you find the most useful with regard your professional development so you have a few minutes or maybe just one minute to answer this poll so the poll starts now I think we'll give the poll maybe um, a minute or so, and then we'll we'll see what the results are. And of course, the an important part about this webinar is that we will be recording it, so the information will be available um, in afterwards. And you can we'll also be uh, probably hosting more webinars as well in the autumn time to promote the master's degree. So this is our first official outing with all the information. But I think we have well we have a response. So it seems to be that the most important, the most interesting course will be AI and modern business which I think is something that is extremely re relevant at the moment, especially in the European Union. And as this is a joint a joint degree over countries within the European Union, it's going to be impacting a lot of how business is going to be done in the future. So, um, okay, thank you, Umar. I think I shall move on to our next speaker. So I'd like to invite Dr. Stefan Schlogel Professor of Human Central Computing at MCI, the Entrepreneurial School in Innsbruck. So please, Stefan. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, William. I think that was a really good uh, handover to uh, MCI, essentially. I mean, AI in modern business. We are a business school in the center of the Alps in Innsbruck. In Tirol, you see here pictures uh, from uh, the MCI campus. On the one hand, on the right hand, you have our campus in summer and on the left side, you see uh, the beautiful view we have uh, towards the mountain. So it's a really, really lovely and nice place to study, to live, to do sports, to all kinds of things. But it's not only uh, that it's a great place to be in Innsbruck, it's also a, a great place to study, specifically at MCI. We call ourselves the Entrepreneurial School. We are a University of Applied Sciences, which a huge focus on uh, quality teaching. So uh, we try to engage uh, very closely with our students. Uh, we have small uh, groups that we teach uh, in a very modern pedagogical fashion. Uh, we want to help them, you know, reflect and build up intellectual uh, contribution. We are very internationally organized. Uh, we have a lot of uh, focus on people, customers, on entrepreneurial spirits. Um, and uh, we equip them with uh, the ability to sell themselves, to you know, build up brands and to essentially start uh, their own businesses. That's, that's an, uh, a really big uh, aspect of uh, education at uh, MCI. Um, now, I think we can uh, move on to the next slide. Uh, if we look at MCI uh, in general as a school, we have in total... Uh, 29 uh, different study programs at MCI. Uh, about half of them, a bit more than half of them, are business oriented. The other half are life sciences. Now, the um, AI masters, so the uh, MS, uh, master program, joint uh, Ulysses uh, master program in um, AI for business transformation, is focusing at the exact intersection between technology and and business, um, so it fits very much our uh, sort of uh, portfolio of, of programs here. Um, from our uh, 29 uh, programs here at MCI, we have 14 uh, that are offered in English uh, to a relatively small crowd of students, three and a half thousand students at MCI, facing about 430, 450 um, staff, so professors and uh, junior and senior lecturers. Now, looking at the second semester, so Umar introduced you to uh, the first semester that it will be uh, happening at Hagahelia in Finland. After this, you move to Innsbruck 
uh, and we try to continue the basic education in a more advanced level. So uh, at uh, Hage Heli in Finland, you get the uh, general introduction to artificial in intelligence uh, for business. And now we move on to AI for business advanced. Uh, so we want to give you a comprehensive understanding of AI relevant programming languages. So there will be a, a course on programming languages, programming techniques taught by one of our um, uh, software engineering professors here at MCI. Then we will uh, get into advanced data and information management, handling all kinds of different data types, data models, a bit of databases up to the point where you try to connect data to uh, external systems, internet of things, uh, sensors, actuators. So we try to put in a bit of electronics uh, as well here because most AI tools that are used in business, they use these kinds of sensors and electronic devices to gather the data. So you have to understand how data is gathered. Uh, and of course, we also have to look at the business side of things. So we'll talk about and teach uh, about uh, digital business models, digital uh, business ecosystems with a big focus on artificial intelligence. Uh, intelligence. Uh, and here specifically with respect to data and the challenges of uh, an open data market, data as the um, well, the core ingredient for any kind of AI application. This data is also often used to uh, better understand and um, consequently uh, optimize business processes. So we also teach you how to use AI solutions in specific settings for specific business problems in order to optimize uh, processes. The key word here is operational excellence, so using IT and AI technology in order to optimize uh, business processes. And last but not least, we want to close this semester, so sort of bring everything together in an applied research and innovation project, an AI innovation project, where you will uh, be working on an idea, developing uh, the proposal for an idea, either for uh, starting up your own business in an AI field, or uh, trying to uh, receive funding from, a, from the European Commission or any other funding provider. The way we want to set this up is that you will have coaches from all four uh, or uh, universities of this joint master's program, uh, and they together will create some sort of council for you uh, so that you can come up with a, um, yeah, a really interesting concept for an AI uh, either project or an AI-driven startup. And I think this sums up uh, very nicely the second semester, one semester in the middle of the Alps, uh, between mountains, um, with lots of stuff to do, to learn, to study, but also to uh, enjoy uh, the scenery and enjoy uh, the city life in a small European city. Thank you so much, William. And I think I hand over to Maria Carmen for uh, the second, uh, for the third semester in Sevilla. Yeah. Thank you very much, Stefan. And I would like to invite Maria del Carmen Romero Tenero, who is the Dean of Computer Science uh, in the Engineering School in University of Seville. Um, and I think Maria, if you'd like to take over. Thank you very much, William. Greetings to, to all of you from Seville. Uh, thanks for your interest in, in this joint master. The University of Seville, located in the south of Spain, is a university with more than five centuries of history where more than 70,000 students, more than 4,000 professors, and more than uh, 3,000 administration and service employees coexist. To provide the best service, the University of Seville has uh, 32 university centers and 134 departments. As you can see, we are talking about a very large and consolidated university. Today, the University of Seville is uh, well known for its vital research in technology and science, uh, which not only aids uh, the development of science as a whole, but more importantly, enrich and develops the culture of Seville and, and Andalusia. Business is life. Thank you. Um, over 2,000 international students arrive every year to, the, to our university. Our welcome office of the International Center assists international students, teachers, researchers, and university st staff in every academic and also no academic and practical question in order to make their stay in Seville as pleasant as, as possible. Regarding, regarding the accommodation, our university is equipped uh, with several university res residents across the city. 
uh, they are available to our students for a small price. Next slide, please. University of Seville is a generalist university with more uh, with uh, one of the Spain greatest academ academic offer in all fields of knowledge, accredited uh, with the standard of the European higher education area. As you can see here in this slide, we have a wide range of undergraduate and postgraduate courses, as well as international training and continuing uh, education. Please, next slide. Thank you. Our university generates a lot of knowledge that is transferred to the product field through the creation of spin-off companies and stand out for its level of patent production being the third Spanish university of, in this matter. Committed with the regional economic and social development, our university is firmly engaged to research. With more than 500 research groups, it ranks among the top 10 Spanish uh, research universities. Next slide, please. Our university is also a reference uh, for the city in a cultural and artistic promotion. We have a center for cultural initiative, which is a palace located in the, in the city center. Next slide, please. Uh, regard, regarding our participation in, our, in this joint master, we have designed a semester that is focused on applying artificial intelligence with a multidisciplinary perspective for business transformation. Uh, we offer six courses, and each of them has been designed by a multidisciplinary team of professors and researchers from four different uh, knowledge fields, from management, for, from computer science, from law um, and linguistics. In total, there are uh, 27 professors involved in this, in this design, in this academic design. Nine professors from management, uh, eight professors from computer science, five from law, and five from linguistics. All, course, all courses uh, will follow project-based methodology with a very practical approach that will be guided by real cases with collaborating, collaborating uh, companies. Next slide, please. All, all courses are focused on applying artificial intelligence in business concerns. Uh, if you choose this semester, you will learn about modeling and automatization of business uh, process, about marketing data analysis and trend prediction, about artificial intelligence application in the area of uh, human resource management, about how recommendations and personalization system can help the business to make uh, decisions and improve service, about the issues related to information security and fraud detection in business transaction, and how apply advanced data analysis to identify patterns and trends. So next slide, please. We hope that uh, your university offer sounds good for you, and uh, we we wait for you in Andalusia. Thanks for your attention. Thank you very much, Mary Carmen. That was a, a great overview, and I hope to to visit Seville in the autumn time now. So lovely. It's the only part I haven't been to, um, but we have the the beautiful city in the Alps. Uh, we have the beautiful city in Spain, and now Cosice in Tuque which is also a, a rare gem uh, of, of a, a beautiful, I would say, student city um, from, from Kosice in Slovakia. And we have Fr Frantisek Babis, who is the Associate Professor in T Technical University of Kosice. So please Thank take you, Hello, everybody. I will start my part with a short introduction of our city. Uh, you can see that our city is located in the heart of Europe. Uh, it is the biggest, uh, the second uh, largest city in uh, Slovakia, and uh, we have connection with many cities in Europe. Or you can fly through other airports like Budapest, uh, Prague, or Warsaw. Also, our campus of our university is located near the center of our city, so it is av is uh, available ten minutes by uh, local transport from the main bus station or or three minutes by local transport from the airport. 
So the location is uh, very interesting if you want to combine also the free time and uh, the education. Also, our, our city offer many other interesting uh, events uh, for uh, for the students. Also, we have very, very successful football teams, uh, handball teams, and also some opportunities uh, like National Theatre and uh, the City Theatre. Please, next slide. Uh, also, our campus uh, has a very, very compact form. You can see on the map that uh, all necessary facilities and uh, all of nine faculties or effect of our university are located in the one campus. So the nine faculties are uh, extended with uh, dormitories, uh, university scientific park, uh, university library, and uh, any other facilities. Uh, some parts of our dormitories are uh, fr freshly renovated. And these dormitories also you know, offer services for some relax, uh, fitness, sports, and also some cafeterias. Please, next slide. And now something about education, not only about the free time. So uh, in our semester, we offer four, uh, four subjects. Uh, one subject is related to deep learning, the second to computer vision, the third one to the knowledge discovery, and uh, the third one, the advanced data analysis, analysis methods. All this, uh, all this subject uh, uh, create uh, some uh, type of portfolio and offer not only theoretical knowledge, but also practical skills like uh, necessary for, for example, to create some deep neural network architecture or provide some experiment with uh, image representation or uh, transformation. Also, we provide practical skills necessary for uh, uh, for experiment related to typical data analytics uh, tasks like uh, classification, prediction, anomaly detection. And also very important task in uh, nowadays uh, is that data visualization. So you can create some different, uh, different reports, uh, graph of uh, or any type of visualization from your data please next slide each of this uh, subject is problem-based or project-based learning uh, we cooperate uh, in this subject with uh, different companies like global logic or ibm this cooperation contains from uh, invited lectures through some workshop from the for the students also topics for the master thesis the primary programming language is Python. And uh, if the students want, then can solve some uh, real application or research problem during during their study, or they can use also the, some artificial data samples. Also for these uh, AI courses, we use some private uh, computing and data infrastructure. This infrastructure simulated uh, typical working condition in the IT companies. So our students are able to run different experiments, use this high performance computational infrastructure and obtain also practical skills from this type of task. Okay, thank you. That's great. Thank you very much, Frantisek, for a great overview of, of Tukke and also of semester three. Uh, next up, I would like to invite Mariana Makela, who is a principal lecturer here in Hagahelia and she will give us a little bit more information about the practical side of how to apply. Yes, thank you, William, and thank you all, all the experts from, from our partner university. So this really is an exciting program and I have had the privilege of coordinating its co-creation. So uh, now some words on how it is possible or how it will be possible to apply and, and to be admitted to the program. So uh, the application will be uh, conducted uh, via Haga Helia, which is the only entry point to this joint master's program. Uh, we are bound to a certain number of, of, of Finnish uh, regulations related to the admission uh, of university to universities of applied sciences, and that is why we are organizing the application process via our national portal, where Haga Helia uh, is publishing all the information related to this joint program. Uh, and uh, the national regulations also are the reason for some uh, of the admission criteria that I will be uh, uh, outlining in, in, a, in a few minutes. But you will find all the necessary information on the 
uh, portal, which is called studyinfo.fi. And if you scan the QR code on the right hand side of the of the slide, you will have access to all the information available. And as Miriam and William already uh, pointed out at the beginning, so also the recording of this uh, webinar will be available for you after this session so that you will have access to the questions and answers uh, that come up uh, at the end of, of the presentation, as well as all the presentations uh, that we just heard. Uh, the application period starts on the 28th of August, and it is relatively short, which also uh, uh, stems from the national uh, regulations on the higher education institution uh, admission processes. So it will uh, close on the 11th of September. There will be 30 available places in the first uh, student cohort of this joint master's program. And we expect a lot of uh, applications, which is always a very, very good thing. So uh, the application period is uh, organized uh, in uh, August, September, and the studies begin in January 25. So for all the uh, eligible applicants, we will be providing all the necessary information on what kind of documents to provide and what is the timeline for the application process. But there is one thing that I will, uh, uh, I, I will uh, particularly emphasize already now, and it uh, is that we are organizing the application interviews on site in Helsinki in October. But there will also be more information on that, on that uh, process. Uh, accessible via that QR code and also on the on the website. Uh, but in January 25, we will be opening the, the studies. And what are the admission criteria? I already mentioned that we are bound to a number of, of national legislation uh, details in Finland. So that means that the applicants should have, uh, firstly, a university qualification corresponding to a bachelor's degree, which is the European Qualifications Framework Level 6 or higher. Uh, uh, meaning that also people who already have a master's degree uh, from another discipline can apply. And uh, on top of that, we are uh, uh, in our criteria, we have uh, the rule that the, the applicants need to have two years of work experience after the completion of the bachelor's degree. That means that the uh, bachelor's degree needs to be completed before the end of this year to be able to start in January 25. Uh, and there are two options for the select or two pathways to the to the admission. Uh, both of them uh, have this bachelor's degree and the work experience. But the first one uh, is specific in in terms that there will be uh, or there should be minimum fifteen ECTS in ICT studies and mi minimum twenty ECTS in business studies to qualify to apply for this program. And then the work experience can be general. And the other pathway is that the uh, applicant should have a bachelor's or other applica applicable degree, meaning a master's, in an institution of higher education and two years of work experience in the fields of the study option, meaning ICT or business, before uh, in December of this year. And uh, in both those uh, possible pathways, the English level of the applicant should be corresponding to B2 level, according to the Common European Framework of Languages. So B2 is a level that will uh, enable the student to successfully complete the studies in this degree, which will be completely uh, carried out in English language. And those are the two possible pathways of, of admission, basically with the same type of criteria, but with uh, slight, uh, slight differences in terms of the bachelor's degree and the work experience. And the next slide, please, William. There are uh, some uh, financial uh, uh, details related to this program. And uh, the tuition fees uh, are something that uh, relate to the citizens for the applicants uh, for uh, outside or from outside the uh, European Union or European Economic Area. So for uh, EU or EEA citizens, there are no tuition fees. And this is something that is based on the Finnish law also uh, on uh, universities of applied sciences. Uh, but for the non-EU or uh, EEA citizens, the tuition fee is 10,500 uh, euros per academic year in Hagahelia. Uh, but we have a scholarship system. So
So there might be an Erasmus Mundus scholarships uh, option in, in, in the future. We are still expecting the outcome of that decision from the European Commission, but also other types of scholarships are possible according to our scholarship scheme in Hagahelia, meaning that uh, based on the study progress and, and being successful in studies, uh, students are uh, eligible for uh, for scholarships if they come uh, outside of the EU or EEA region. And then uh, since there are two uh, mandatory mobility uh, semesters in this degree, there are also some local costs that can relate to uh, libraries or laboratories or student union fees and, and so forth. Uh, and these vary depending on the country. And then depending on uh, the country of the hosting institutions in semesters two and three, there may be also a local tuition fee for the non-EU or EEA citizens. But all the details related to the financial details of, of, of this degree will be published at the start of the application period, and you will find them in the national portal studyinfo.fi. So you don't need to remember all, all the details, but you will find them also that you can prepare for for, uh, for your application and have all the necessary information at the time of submitting your uh, your application. And one more thing about that application process, it will be uh, said in this national portal. So you will be su submitting all the uh, all the documents in the portal study info and not uh, to Haga Helia. But this is also something that will be explained in the uh, in the information package that you have access to via the QR code. And I think that that was the last of my slides. Am I right? So please follow us at ulysses.eu and uh, on all the channels of social media that you will find there on Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, and X. So now I suppose we are happy to and I don't suppose whether we are happy, but we are happy to <laughs> reply to your questions in case there are any. I think, Miriam, you had received some questions already prior to the start of the webinar. Yes, actually. I received uh, two questions prior to the webinar, which the first one was, I graduated from Hagahelia University of Applied Sciences last December. Can I still join this program? Well, uh, after the graduation of, of uh, that has taken place one year ago, it means that there would not be it would not be possible to have the two years of uh, working experience after the bachelor. So I think that it should be necessary to wait for one more year before. But uh, I think the best of uh, advice that one can give is to go through the documentation in the admission portal to have detailed information and also the foundings of. of of all those criteria that I just mentioned. And then I received another question. I come from Högskolan for Åland, so from Åland in Finland. Mm -hmm. And is this meant for current degree students? What about study fees? Well, I think the study fees were mentioned, but if someone is a resident from the Åland Islands, so that means that uh, he or she comes from the EU region, so there will be no study fees applicable. But those other uh, additional costs would then be something to be uh, born during the studies. And the details are, as said, in the in the uh, documentation that will be published at, when the admission period starts. But for current students, the, the same rule applies uh, regarding the work experience, meaning that there should be two years of work experience after the bachelor's degree. And maybe a few words of ex explanation on why we have this <coughs> law in Finland. Uh, it is based on the fact that the most of the master's degree in Finnish universities of applied sciences are targeted for people who already are in act active working life, and they probably haven't uh, graduated uh, just recently. So this is uh, where our national legislation stems from. I hope that it explains a little this rule. So it is not something that we would have invented, but we, we need to stick to that role. But we hope that we will receive applications from people who are, uh, have uh, already gained this working experience. Thank you, Mariana. 
Have any other people received any questions from your universities? Okay, and I think that was it. So that was the only question that, that we had, that the questions that we had there now. So um, this, uh, as, as I mentioned at the beginning of the webinar, this will be recorded. And so we will be sending out the recording to you once we upload it uh, and keep following, of course, our Ulysses channels for more information. I think this is the beginning of, uh, actually, I think this is the first real beginning of um, our kind of advertising and pushing of the, of the Ulysses AI. So there will be more information coming, I think, after the summer, as far as I know. So um, I think, and this is anything else anybody would like to add? No? Great. Okay. We're ahead of schedule. So that's that's always a good thing. Um, at least it's a, it's a truly unique opportunity, isn't it, to be able to study a master's degree in these, uh, you know, these, these really fantastic locations and a variety of different subjects and a variety of different cultures in you know in a very structured positive way and as part of one of the the key leading university alliances within the european union it's such a huge opportunity so i hope that in the future that we'll be able to to get some good students to take part but until then uh, the, the summer is calling and and it's it's late in the day. So um, for those of you who who have attended today, thank you very much and a, a, a big thanks to our speakers for taking the time to be online today. And thank you to to Miriam and to Mariana for taking the time also to to be here. And um, yeah, I think we will be in touch uh, in the future. Yeah, so thank you. Okay.